Hey nerds! Before I show you this week's new tabletop gag reel, which is from Catan Jr., which I played with actual human children, I wanted to, as a public service, offer some suggestions on last-minute gifts for the holiday festival of your choice that are gaming-related. These are gifts that you can find just about anywhere, at big bookstores, at uh, uh, toy stores, and of course at your friendly local game shops. If you're unable to patronize a local business and uh, you need to go online, I know that Amazon has all of these as well. Powell's has all of these. So um, let's get started so that I can get out of your way and you can watch uh, children be silly and cute and adorable. All right, first First thing is a tiny little game that I think works really well as a stocking stuffer. Um, it is this super fun little game called Iota. Um, for if you know this game called Set, which is one of my favorite things ever, which I was actually going to include in this guide, but I can't find. I think my son Ryan has our copy of it. Um, Iota basically plays like Set in reverse. You have a hand uh, of cards, and you're going to lay those cards down in a grid where you match either one thing that exists on the grid, color, shape, or number, or all the things on the grid, color, shape, or number, and then you score points. It plays really fast. It's so tiny, and uh, it's super portable and really fun. It's published by Game Right, and I found this uh, at the Powell's bookstore that is in the Portland airport earlier this year. I grabbed it. I played the hell out of it because it's so much fun and it's so little and super duper portable. Uh, it says ages eight and up. I think that's about right. Younger kids can probably play it with a little help from mom and dad, and uh, it's great. It teaches logic and reading reasoning and helps kids find patterns and I feel like it's one of those things that sort of like helps your brain like not be smushy. Okay, next, Bananagrams. Really, really fun word building game uh, that uh, has spawned a number of uh, offshoots, but I think Bananagrams is probably the best of all of them. This is a great game for people who love Scrabble, like my wife, to play with people who hate Scrabble, like me. There's bunches of variants online. Ha, huh, bunches, get it, Bananagrams! Bunch of variants online. I did it again, Bananagrams! And it's uh, it's just a lot of fun to play. You can find it just about anywhere. I guess it's sort of like the right size to be a stocking stuffer. It's definitely the right size to be a pants stuffer. Okay, finally, as I lean over out of frame, um, for the role player in your life, for that person who uh, is interested in role playing games but has never really felt comfortable actually rolling for initiative, for someone who has been intimidated by the wide range of uh, different role-playing systems, someone who thinks that role-playing systems are all about math and minis and charts and complicated things, um, I have to recommend the Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Starter Set from Wizards of the Coast. This box has everything you need to get into the role-playing hobby. If you used to play and haven't in a really long time, or if you just know someone, maybe it's you, who's always wanted to play but never has, it's an absolutely fantastic place to start. And it's not just a great place to start Dungeons and Dragons. It's a great place to start for GURPS or Fate or Savage Worlds or um, Dragon Age or Mutants and Masterminds or True 20 or Pathfinder. It's such an amazing entry point for the hobby. I'm getting ready to run this with my friends and I've been reading the Dungeon Master's Guide and I've been reading the instructions and I've been reading the adventure that comes with it and all through it they're like, okay look, here's how you're going to do this. Don't be intimidated by these things you've always been intimidated by. Just think about playing it like this. It's really fun. Everything you need is in this box, and uh, uh, it, if you, depending on how frequently you play, it's going to offer you months of entertainment. And if you like the adventure that comes with it, it sets you up to roll into the first published adventure that Wizards has put out. So I really like it. I think it is a massive improvement over 3.5 and 4th edition. This is what 3rd edition should have been, and I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. So there you go, a few options for you uh, as your last minute tabletop holiday gift guide from me, your pal, Will Wheaton. Um, get ready to enjoy a gag reel from Catan Jr. played with actual human children. We'll be back next week with an all new tabletop. It is a, a two game episode, two couple of quick, fast, 
Um, quick and fast mean the same thing. Uh, games, there is the Council of Verona, an amazing deduction game, and Hare and Tortoise, a game that is so much fun. When I sat down to play it at Gen Con this year, by the second turn, I asked the publisher to come over to the game uh, table we were playing so I could get permission to put it on tabletop. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, happy Winter Festival of your choice, and uh, until we see you next time, play more games! I'm grateful that the people I work with here at Geek & Sundry encouraged me to keep this show as family-friendly as possible, because since Tabletop premiered, I have heard from 1025, that's 1025 in the pool. They right, see me rolling the in okay, for a safety. Baby goats, your little legs are so small they shouldn't even work. Stop being so cute. How rich do you think the president is? A trillionaire. Yeah? So how much is each of those gold worth? Each gold is worth a chicken nugget. Science says that we cannot look at the past as an indication of the future as regards to random numbers and luck. Tabletop, Catan, and I say something very different. And then this gets you gold from the bank. I understand. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Yeah, you were going to get a complaint from your store manager. Yeah, I know. I'm not. My review is coming up and things are not looking good for me at all. It's. It's Can you call good. Yelp, one of you? <laughs> I am Brett Balaget and I'm nine years old, and I'm also on another show on Geek and Strud Sundry, and I'm nine years old. <laughs> uh, yeah, I live in Awesome Town. <laughs> I live in. Where I'm the mayor and the president. You of live awesome in Town. Willville. Where did you get? Will, well, Willville is, of course, the capital city of Awesome Town. I think it's a little weird that you turned this into a parrot. Like, what kind of parrot comes out of this? Like, you, sta like you, you stab the molasses with the sword, right? And then, like, the molasses comes out, and it maybe when Just molasses, like Julius Caesar. It's exactly like Julius Caesar. That's right. Okay, we're just going to do that one one more time because there's a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Come on, you can go a bit faster. I'm going to trade these molasses to the bank, and I'm gonna get a goat. You could've done that, and only used one. No! Well, I messed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and just just take the mess up. Thank you for pointing that out for me. It's an important part of tabletop that I make really dumb mistakes like that all the time. You get gold. I get gold. I get Adam, gold. you get gold. Get Looks like everybody gets gold. You know, guys, it's like we're on the Oprah Winfrey show, but she's handing out gold instead of bees. And <laughs> Oprah Winfrey uh, gives you bees? Get, oh, yeah, she gives everybody bees. Like, just like she opens up a box of bees and they all fly out into the hall and the whole audience gets bees. And then she dances on stage. And everyone who comes here and plays games with me, every single person plays with the table because it's kind of like petting a dog. <laughs> right? Guys. It takes a goat to build a boat to cross a moat to watch Murder, She Wrote.